I'm Colin Singer, immigration lawyer and managing partner of Immigration.ca. Canada Immigration News Articles, May 2015. Revocation provisions under Canada's Citizenship Act now in force. New provisions now allow the Minister of Citizenship and Immigration to revoke Canadian citizenship. The new act received royal assent in June last year and included provisions to revoke Canadian citizenship from those dual citizens who are convicted of high treason, terrorism, or spying offences depending on the sentence received. Under the new provisions, the citizenship of a dual citizen can also be revoked if they have served in another country's armed forces or are found to be a part of an organized non-state entity involved in an armed conflict with Canada. The federal government considers the revocation of citizenship to be an important tool for the protection of the value of Canadian citizenship and the safeguarding of the integrity of the citizenship program. With these changes, the government is aiming to protect the safety and security of Canadian citizens and ensure that criminals and those who take up arms against Canada will not benefit from Canadian citizenship. Under the new revocation process, the cases to be revoked will be resolved by the Citizenship and Immigration Minister or his delegate. Cases falling under this category include those involving residence fraud, high treason, identity fraud, concealing criminal charges or convictions, convictions for terrorism, treason, or spying offenses, depending on the sentence received. Complicated revocation cases involving crimes against humanity and war crimes or fraud cases involving national security or human or international rights violations and organized crime will be handled by the federal court. The federal court, in such instances, will have authority for determining inadmissibility and ultimately the revocation of Canadian citizenship. A removal order can also be issued in cases of serious criminality. The federal court also has authority for deciding cases involving revocation of citizenship for those serving in another country's armed forces or for being part of an organized non-state entity involved in an armed conflict with Canada. To support the new revocation provisions, certain legislative changes have also been brought into force. 1. Impact of revocation. A 10-year bar or a permanent ban from reacquiring Canadian citizenship, depending on the circumstances. Those whose citizenship is revoked for fraud would be barred from obtaining citizenship for 10 years, an increase from the previous bar of 5 years. Individuals whose citizenship is being revoked under the new provisions will be permanently barred from regaining Canadian citizenship. 2. Renunciation. Individuals facing revocation cannot apply for renunciation of citizenship and three, misrepresentation. Individuals who directly or indirectly withhold or misrepresent material circumstances relating to a relevant matter, which can cause an error in the administration of the Citizenship Act, will be barred from citizenship. An individual who has been cited for misrepresentation will be barred from becoming a Canadian citizen for a period of five years following the finding of misrepresentation. Source, CIC.